I think it's fantastic and she's well adorned to be a pearly queen. This is the Armada portrait of Elizabeth I. And this is the pearly queen of Royal Greenwich. There's resolution in her chin and I feel she's a strong woman. And I don't believe all that outfit that she's got is really her. The pearly kings and queens are London icons, instantly recognisable when they're out collecting for charities across the city. And just like Elizabeth, their clothes are full of symbolism and meaning. There's messages pertaining to your borough. The anchor for the naval connection. The horseshoe for good luck. The crown symbolises the power of monarchy. The ruff frames her face like a halo. And the black and white colour scheme symbolises constancy and chastity. I put pigeons on because Ken Livingstone got rid of the pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Tudor viewers of the painting would have known that the materials in Elizabeth's clothing were extremely luxurious. Pearls were highly prized and costly, but Elizabeth is wearing over 800 of them. I've got about 8,000. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth I never married, choosing instead to rule alone. Under our constitution in 1875, if a queen takes a king, he can override her decisions. Hence, I won't take a king. So we've got something in common there. <laughs> Elizabeth reigned for 45 years and is considered one of the country's most successful and popular monarchs. As one queen to another, I'm quite proud of who she is and what she's achieved. She's splendid in her pearls and pearls are durable and so was she. One iconic image, three unique versions. See the Armada portraits of Elizabeth I together for the very first time.